Okay, here we are at Ida's listing on East 33rd Street. You can see how pretty it is. It has so much curb appeal. And of course, a one story is always popular. So we'll walk up. It has wood siding and then also, of course, the stone and that really gorgeous corner window that goes around. The landscaping is super pretty and done really well. We will head on inside. You can see they have those downspouts going away from the house right there. And then this one is being funneled away from the foundation also. We'll walk on inside. Right when we walk in the house, you can see there's this really pretty stone when you enter. And right off to the left is the kitchen area. And off to the right is like a formal kind of living space. We are on electric, so you'll also see these heaters on the floor here, and there's also oil. So we'll start over on this side of the house. I absolutely adore this window. It looks so pretty, and the neighbors came over. They're super friendly. They're like, we just landscaped our yard, so it looks really pretty over there when you look out and you see this tree, and these houses have a really well-maintained landscaping. And then here's a look at that house across the street. And then you have the wall here. A wood fireplace with this really, really pretty like stone kind of wall. And this is vinyl plank flooring here in this portion. We'll walk down the hallway. You can see a temperature control right there. Right here you have a really, really spacious closet for some storage. Off to the right is the first bedroom and here's where we see some of the hardwood flooring. You can see kind of the transition and this looks really pretty. Open the closet in here. Fairly standard bedroom. And then we'll go off to the left and you have the bathroom which has a step-in shower, that tile, and then the vanity here. We have a very blue theme going on. And then you have another shower, but it's the fiberglass tub. Um, or actually, that's not fiberglass, but you have the shower head over here too, so. And then of course your toilet. Some more storage. Walk back out and we'll go to the right again. You have another bedroom with that same hardwood flooring, which it's very like light and pretty in here. I'm sure you can tell with that huge window and that living space out front. You have a closet. And more space over here for furniture. We'll go across to the last bedroom over here. This is a king. So it's nice to know that'll fit in here. And they also have a nightstand on either side still. This window goes towards that backyard area and the garage. You can see they've managed to fit quite a bit of furniture in here. And another standard kind of closet. So we will walk to the other section of the house. Okay, we are back in that front door area and we're going to go to the other side of the house. Here is a look at the kitchen. The house is so cute. It has so much character and uniqueness. It was um, in the 1960s that this was built. Um, we're on electric and oil. I'm not sure if I said that already. So a look at some of the appliances. Gin Air range. Then you have this cute little Kind of breakfast bar that goes into this more formal dining area. 
So again, looks like a lot of room for furniture. This little section over here has this older accordion style door. You have the washer and dryer. Then just more counter space and storage. And the restroom that guests would use as well. So a lot of potential back here if you wanted to maybe rip some of this out and make it more open or expand the bathroom. You can potentially do that. And then this massive bonus area. Another wood fireplace. And this room is a really big size. If you wanted to make this a master, you could. Um, here is the water heater and electric panel. Something nice about this and it potentially being the master, you have the fire. You also have an entrance from the backyard. So that's always cool. And also as an investment, if down the line you wanted to rent this out, this could be its own room or section with that private entrance. heating system there and this door going out into the patio area which the sun is coming out so you can see this is nice and sunny really really cute very private back here and such a great space and then I'll we'll take a look in the garage. Again, a really great size garage. More storage and parking. 